Today, we are making custom sneakers for horror icons. I asked on my Instagram, what horror icons you want me to make custom shoes for? I got my most popular responses. We're gonna go out and go thrifting, find some shoes to customize because shoes are expensive. Buying one shoe for $100 makes no sense when I could buy five shoes for $100 at the thrift store. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out and source a couple shoes and then we're gonna come back, clean them, customize them, and spookify them. Let's get it. Here at the thrift store, let's see what we could find. Shopping around, I found a lot of shoes, including some Air Maxes, some Air Forces, some Blazers, Vans, and a lot more. Although a lot of the shoes I found were too beat up for the price, including some Dunks and some Jordan 3s. Unfortunately, they were too beat up to pick up. We got them. First step, let's clean these disgusting shoes and then one by one, we'll customize them. Let's go. To be honest, all of these shoes were pretty disgusting from the thrift store, so I had to clean them really good inside and out to make sure that they were good enough to be painted. The first custom we're gonna do is on the Air Max 97, a uh, shoe I've never customized in my six years of customizing, I've never customized a pair. So this one is gonna be an Exorcist theme. Since I'm doing horror icons, I'm gonna focus more so on Reagan from the Exorcist. Let's get into it. The first step with any custom is to sand down the leather and ask tone off the factory finish so the paint could stick and be durable. All right, shoes are finally taped up, um, prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna make this bottom layer I think I'm gonna make it represent her pajamas, like those light blue pajamas with like floral print. And then gonna do some sort of like green drip from one layer towards the other. Let's now move on to painting. The next step is to get your colors together to paint the shoe. For this custom, I'm gonna need white and a light gray to paint the upper. And then I painted the entire upper from black to a white so I can use other colors on top. Once the entire shoe is painted white, I painted the bottom layer with a dark blue. I then cut out little floral stencils that it can be seen on her pajamas, put them on the bottom and then sprayed a light blue over top so I could peel off the florals and have a light blue with dark blue flowers. Now that I finished the pajama pattern on the bottom portion of the shoe, I'm gonna move on to the green throw up slash slime stuff that's in the movie. Um, and I'm gonna do it dripping from layer to layer. For this step, I laid down tape and cut out a drip pattern to represent her green throw up. And then this gray section represents her pale skin. So I added a bunch of cut details with red paint. After all the paint was laid down, I went back with black paint to do some touch ups. Final step was to outline the green with black to make it stand out from the rest of the colors. Now that the Exorcist shoes are done, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna use these triple white Air Force Ones, the shoes that I've customized the most out of any shoe ever. We're gonna turn these into Pennywise from It, one of my favorite horror characters ever. So let's get started by prepping these shoes to be painted. So I'm in the middle of customizing these Air Forces, but they have a glue mark on that back part and I can't get it off so we're just gonna dye the sock liner of these orange like Pennywise's hair and I think it'll look good anyway so let's go do that so then I dyed the interior with orange dye from Angelus After adding some gray shadows all around the shoe, I decided to paint the back tab red and make it look like a balloon. The next thing I added was this cracking to the Nike swoosh, kind of to represent Pennywise's head. After adding these gray cracking, I decided to add a white glossing over top to make it look more subtle. I then made these custom tongue tags to put on the shoe. 
Now that I finished the Pennywise Air Force Ones, now I'm gonna move on to these all red Air Max 90s, which I'm gonna need to turn into a Us themed one, Jordan Peele's movie. Um, since most of their outfit is a red jumpsuit uh, with gold scissors and tan gloves, I'm gonna make this whole shoe represent it. Unfortunately, this red's too vibrant, so I'm gonna repaint the entire shoe, a little bit of a darker shade of red, and then go from there. Let's go ahead and prep these and get them ready for paint. After taping up the shoe, I painted the entire upper with a darker shade of red and cut out these stencils to put across the bottom overlay to represent the hands across America, which plays a big part into the movie. I then added these stencils across the bottom overlay and then sprayed another shade of red to make it a very subtle detail on the bottom. You can see it's a very small detail. I then taped off everything but the swoosh to lay down a white and then a gold to represent their scissors. I also made custom tongue tags for these with scissors made out of Nike swooshes. So now we are onto the final shoe, the Air Max One. My most recommended horror character was Art the Clown from Terrifier. Going into this, I have never seen a Terrifier movie, so I thought I might as well just watch both of them to understand the character. Um, You've made a huge mistake. Y'all are sick. <laughs> Either way, I'm really excited because I think this has a lot of potential. I'm gonna do the whole shoe split down the middle like his clown outfit with um, some blood splatter along the way. And I think these are gonna turn out really sick. So let's get into these Art the Clown customs. First thing was to paint the entire upper white to get a clean base to paint. After that, I started hand painting the black to do the split right down the middle of the shoe. I then added some red accents on the Nike Air branding on the back and the mini Nike swoosh on the toe. These shoes I also decided to make custom insoles with Art the Clown images on it. And another set of custom tongue tags with Nike branded Art the Clown cereal. I also added mini sunflowers to the alternate lace hole. I thought that would be a good detail to represent his sunglasses. I finished off the shoe by adding two puff balls to represent his costume and laced them up with splatter paint laces. We're done. So here's the final product for all four pairs of shoes. We got the Exorcist Air Max 97s. We got the Us Air Max 90s. We got the Pennywise Air Force Ones. And then we have the Terrifier Art the Clown Air Max Ones. Here is the Exorcist Air Max 97s. I went with Reagan's pajamas pattern on the bottom. And then with the green vomit dripping onto the pajamas and also onto this grayscale skin tone that she has during the movie with scarred up with red. I think these came out really cool, really unique because The Exorcist is a very hard movie to do a custom for. Next, let's move on to the Us Air Max 90s. Whole shoe was painted with a dark red and a gold swoosh to represent their scissors along with subtle silhouettes of the Hands Across America and tan laces to represent their gloves and footwear and finished off with these custom Nike branded Us tongue tags. Next, we have the Pennywise Air Force Ones. The entire shoe is painted white with a bunch of gray shadows to represent his costume, along with three puff balls on the laces, light gray scaling on the swooshes to represent his head, custom Nike branded Pennywise tongue tags, and the back tab painted red to represent a balloon. But overall, I think it's a very clean and simplistic custom that gets the character overall. Finally, the Art the Clown Terrifier Air Max Ones. These Air Max Ones are completely split down the middle, half black, half white with alternating colors. They are also complete with a bunch of red accents across the entire shoe. Two puff balls on the swooshes, custom tongue tags, and custom insoles. Overall, I think these turned out to be my favorite of the bunch. 
Now that the sneakers are complete, let's go ahead and add them to the shelf with the rest of the Horror Customs. Thank you so much to all of you who watched the video. Please make sure to subscribe and like for more videos like this. I'm trying to start it up. This is my first ever long form YouTube video. So we'll see how this goes. If it goes well, then we'll get more, but make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know which custom was your favorite. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.